Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company and here we have the Volkswagen Beetle uh, Cabriolet. Uh, as you can see uh, it comes with a personalised plate which is perfect for this car. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls on the inside. From the outside you can see it's a two-door uh, of course Cabriolet uh, with alloy wheels. The wheels are in perfect condition uh, the whole way round as well. We're going to start off inside the boot area first of all. As we approach the back of the car you'll get a better look at that registration number that comes with the vehicle. Given the fact that it is a cabriolet, uh, a decent amount of boot space in there as well. You can fold down uh, the rear seats to give you a bit more space through to the car itself should you wish to do that. Okay so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls on the inside of it from there. But now that we've done a full circle you can see it's a great looking car and in wonderful condition the whole way around. Briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so we'll hop in and do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, first of all, we have the rev counter, we have the speedometer in the middle, and the fuel gauge on the right-hand side. Uh, also in the middle, you can see the total miles of this car. They are 24,694. You can change the information that's displayed there for various different menus, as you can see. Uh, Multi-function uh, display is the menu that we were on just a moment ago, uh, where you'll be able to access uh, such things, of course, as your total distance in the car, a digital readout for the speedometer as well. And all of that is accessed using the buttons just here. Over on the left-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. And over in the center, the main touch screen display for the car, which, as you can see, includes satellite navigation. It also includes... Uh, a full colour parking camera, so that's your reversing camera there, with guidelines that show you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image that's being shown on the screen, of course. And then you have various other options for things like your radio. Uh, you can uh, adjust uh, your radio settings uh, using the touchscreen up here, so you can tune. You can also save preset stations along the bottom, should you wish to. We have AM and FM radio, as you can see just there. You can go back a page, to where you were previously. Uh, that button will take you back to the home screen where you'll be able to access your Bluetooth. Uh, gallery, as you can see, file manager, settings, video, music. Uh, so you can go back into your music settings from there. Uh, and there's a number of ways you can listen to your music. You can also make your adjustments down the bottom. So things like bass, treble, etc. So loads of adjustments that you can make up on this screen all in all. Uh, main volume for the stereo is just there. Below that, we then have the air conditioning. So you can adjust the temperature, the fan speed, and the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, that button will turn your air conditioning on and it's on when that light shows. Same button to turn it off again. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly in here, depending on the temperature you've set over there, of course. We can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic, which in turn will save you fuel. That system is off when that light shows. We have some storage down here, our USB and auxiliary inputs for your music, and then a six speed manual gearbox. Of course, I also want to show you the roof working on this car, which is, uh, you know, potentially one of uh, the most important elements uh, of this particular car. So if we hit the button, all of the windows will go down. Uh, first of all, uh, that will all happen simultaneously. The roof will then begin its operation. And as you can see, that will open incredibly quickly. Last thing I wanted to talk about is the paperwork that we hold for the car. Uh, so firstly, you can see the V5 registration document just here. Uh, one of the keys, the spare key is in this envelope, and then the service book for the car, which has five full uh, main dealer services. So you can see there, 2018, 19, 20, 21, and 22, all in the book. Uh, it's worth noting that if uh, this car requires an MOT, within the six month period at the point at which we sell it, we will also do that for you as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. We'd love to hear from you soon.